start the recording. Okay, so today is the ninth, I think, yeah, ninth. And um, um, so we are so excited because um, on Monday, I leave Monday for Summit, but Summit is, you know, Thursday to Sunday. So what I wanted to kind of do today, um, I just have been so like pumped up and, you know, so excited because I have been doing personal development like crazy this week. So like anytime I'm in the car, I listen to a national wake up call and I was like three behind. So I listen to like two a day and then I go back through because there's probably some random weeks that like when I was working and stuff that I haven't caught up through. And then I also go back through and listen to some of my favorite ones that I really liked. So honestly, like they've been doing national wake up calls for years. And um, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you get it through the um, I um, through the iTunes store. You go to a download podcast and you'll get the Team Beachbody app. The really cool thing is you can also access all the seminars from Summit last year, which are like liquid gold, and definitely do that and listen to them. Um, but they just I just found out about this. If you have a Samsung, you can download the app Podcast Addict, um, like a drug addict, that kind of addict, <laughs> in case you couldn't understand what I was saying. Um, it's amazing because I've had a Samsung, and I've had to been like, Okay, let me get my iPad and then plug in my like thing and I listen to it when I'm driving, you know. So it's so nice to have on my phone now. So I've been listening to that like crazy. And if you haven't listened to Meg Wazinski's from two weeks ago, that one was so, so great. I took a lot away from that one. Um, and then today I also listened to um, Dave Ward's, which was really cool because um, he totally comes from a different, uh, he's been in the business since 2007. So he's been doing it forever, him and his wife. Um, but basically he's had a six figure income. So to me that like kind of boggles my mind, like somebody that has a six figure income being interested in doing beach body. Like, I feel like I would kind of be, you know, that's the kind of thing that you're like, Oh, I don't know if I want to talk to them. What are they going to do with beach body? You know, they're going to turn their nose up at their first paycheck of a, you know, $30 or a hundred dollars when they've got this really successful job. So, um, so what I took away from that was kind of like, you know what, don't be afraid to ask anybody about this because even if they're making six figures, maybe they're a doctor, maybe they are like super into CrossFit. Like, I don't care if they're freaking competing at the CrossFit games. Like you don't want to ever not talk to anybody because you know, you may be like, well, I don't even feel like I look like a coach and this person is ripped. I, they're not going to want to listen to me. Get that out of your head and talk to every single person, um, ever, like ever. And, and, um, Kelly posted in her group today, something about like, you know, why would you ever, um, not share this opportunity with somebody? It was something from Carly Del Carlo, who is one of the top 10 coaches from 2014. And it was basically like, you know, why would you not offer the option of changing somebody's life, which is 100% what Beachbody has done for me. Like sometimes I just look back and I'm like, I don't know how I was functioning before. Like just literally, I can't tell you how many times my bank account was negative in one month all the time. It was just something that happened. I didn't have any way to get out of it. You know, living on a $30,000 salary with bills, you know, just my student loans alone were $600 a month. Like, it, you know, it's just, it was impossible and I could not get past it. So I just, you know, it just makes me think like if Kelly didn't reach out to me or if I didn't see somebody inviting me that instead of just seeing what they're doing, you know, but if I didn't get an invite, I just can't even imagine what my life would be like. Like I would just be miserable. So, um, you know, just talk to anybody, let them tell, you no. Um, and that's why I love go for no so much is he gives an example of, you know, he used to be a suit salesman and one of like the head honchos was there and he was, you know, he sold like over a thousand dollars in suits to this guy. And he was like, Oh my gosh, I'm so awesome. You know? And the head honcho was like, so when did he tell you no? And he's like, well, what do you mean? He didn't tell me no. Like he bought all this crap. And they were like, yeah, but when did he tell you no? And he was like, he didn't. And he, like, they're basically saying like, you could have probably sold another pair of cufflinks. You could have sold another tie. You could have done this. So keep asking and let people tell you no. Like 
I still sometimes get in my head like, oh, this girl's probably only going to want the base kit. I know she doesn't have a lot of money. But I'm going to tell her that anyways, that she can get it for 10 bucks with her purchase of Shakeology. And that's basically what she would be paying for a week of personal training, you know, probably less than what she would be paying for that. It's $4 a meal, you know, things like that. So just not being afraid to ask anybody and let them tell you no, because no isn't even a no forever. It's a no right now. So um, something that has just been really on my mind from John C. Maxwell, from um, a couple different personal development that I've listened to is he just says, live intentionally, like get up and think, what am I going to do? Not, and this was me for a really long time. I would just be like, Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do this. And I'd start doing this. And then I'd, I'd go over here, 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 here. And like nothing officially got done. It would be like if I wanted to chop down a tree and I just started hacking away at one and then going to another and going to another, you'd wind up with just a bunch of like trees with crap taken out of them and nothing, you know, successfully chopped down. So you just have to like, and what I've been doing is putting my phone on airplane mode. If I'm going to send my 10 messages, I'm going to send my 10 messages. I'm not going to send five, get on my newsfeed, find this, find this, share that, do this. So send your messages, put, you know, get it done. And then, you know, do your follow-ups and then do your posts or whatever is in your power hour, stick to that. And don't let like shiny objects um, distract you. And for, for me, another thing that living intentionally is every day I'm going to wake up and decide I'm going to help at least one person. And hopefully that will be through a challenge pack of, you know, teaching them how to, you know, understand their portions and teaching them how to finally understand nutrition and giving them 30 minute workouts from home with their busy schedule. But even if it's a current customer or potential client I have, I'm going to hopefully help everybody, you know, um, one person a day at least. So, you know, just kind of wake up every day and be like, who's that one person? And if you're feeling feisty, who's the, who are those five people I'm going to help today? Just wake up and know and find somebody. It doesn't matter if you wake up and don't know who that person is, find them. You can go to Pinterest, you can go to Instagram, you can literally, there are bajillions of people in front of you with social media. So Meg Rosinski's call was awesome. I loved how she talked about Pinterest. I didn't even know this, but Pinterest is, is um, um, what's the word, connected to your Facebook. So you could pay, you can actually go to message them through their Facebook. And if you pay a dollar, it goes to their inbox instead of the other folder. And it sounds like, ugh, do I want to pay a dollar? But honestly, like it's so worth it because why waste your time? I didn't even know there was another folder until I became a coach and I still forget to change, check that darn thing. And I see things from like a month ago and I'm like, dang it. So don't waste your time, pay that dollar, get in contact with somebody. What she said was search a board. So for her, it was like help, healthy pregnancy. And so she would find a pin that had been pinned a couple hundred times and go to some of those people's that re, uh, boards that repinned it. And if she kind of likes like what they, they, you know, were put, putting out there, then she would send them a message. That is so easy. And like Pinterest is amazing. Like it could be like a DIY tank top, you know, something like that, you know, somebody that isn't interested in the same stuff that you are. So that's a perfect way. One, figure out your target market Two, you know, find those people. Honestly, probably what I would do is look up, um, people that pin a lot of uh, Mexican recipes and German Shepherd things. Like that's something that I know right then and there I will have a connection with. Um, so, you know, find something that is going to right away have a connection with. Another thing is, you know, maybe a runner training for a half marathon. Like I've never met a runner that like we didn't instantly just have a connection. Like you're at races and stuff. I swear, like I've never met a runner that hasn't been super welcoming because you already have that, you know, um, common ground. Um, okay. So what I want you to do this week is think of your distractions. And I, if you're on a computer, I want you to get into the chat and write like your three biggest distractions that you can think of. And then we'll kind of go over those. So get that little chat screen. Mine is definitely scrolling on Facebook. I don't know why I do it. I tell myself every week I'm not going to do it, and I continue to do it. So my phone, my son, Facebook scrolling. Okay, so Alicia, what about your phone can you do to not make it so distracting? 
like be, I could put it on airplane mode. Yes. That's amazing. Airplane yeah. Mode is what is airplane mode? Basically, it disables um, Wi-Fi, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you wouldn't be able to like do this, do that. And if you were maybe like on your computer sending your messages, then you're not going to be like, I, sometimes I swear, I'm like, here's my phone, here's my iPad, here's my computer. Like, no, focus on one task. Um, Danielle says Facebook scrolling, the dogs, Instagram scrolling. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, set a timer. You get five minutes total for Facebook scrolling from now on a day. Set a timer, make it happen. I know as a new coach, you're like, but I might see somebody that posts that they want to lose weight, so I don't want to miss out on that. Um, no, message everybody from your list that's better to find people that way than being like, you know, here and there, yes, it's cool, but I don't want you to get sucked into it because you want to spend 80, or wait, yeah, you want to spend 80% um, of your time doing the things that create, the, you know, the top, the top, oh my gosh, I saw good statistics. 80% of your time doing the things that compile like most of your income. There's an 80, 20 and I just can't think of it, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Like you don't yes. want to sit there and spend all this time like focusing on like, Oh, I need to make sure that my like page, uh, Facebook cover, like, um, cover photo looks amazing. So I'm going to spend two hours on pick monkey perfecting it. No, I would rather you pay somebody $20 and have them do that for you. You don't have to be amazing at everything. Like delegate things out where you can and focus on those messaging people, following up with people and working on a system, get yourself a system of organization and stick to it. Um, sometimes I find myself that I'm like, Here's my planner, here's another planner, here's my Shakeology reminder, and then here's my 10 in play. It's like, no, I don't need to be writing things for places. So I've been working on re figuring out my system. Um, Alicia says, so when I'm on Facebook, I'll send at least five messages to different people in case not all of them respond, but then when all of, when all of them do respond, my power hour turns into hours. What do I do? Um... So basically, from this conversation, I don't understand why you should be you shouldn't be having an hour conversation with anyone. It should basically be forming them and inviting them to our free group. And then the next time you chat with them, it's following up and it's um, you know asking them what their struggles are, asking them what their goals are. Um, you know, is you know, well, so what you what do you struggle most with? Is it the fitness side or the nutrition side? You know, do you have a pair? What are your goals? You know, do you have a pair of skinny jeans in the back of your closet that you want to get into again? You know, things like that. So getting them and then talking to them, like, I don't know if you're interested or not, girl, but dude, I'm doing this three week fitness and nutrition boot camp and it is kicking my butt. And I'm totally finally understanding nutrition. And I'm on, you know, my third or fourth round and I'm just loving it. And it's so sustainable. It's honestly like a lifestyle change, which is exactly what I needed. So, you know, I don't know if it's for you or not, but I would just love for you to have, you know, for you to join me. And I know that you said that like portion control was an issue for you and that you don't know you can always find time to go to the gym. So the really cool thing is that it's 30 minutes home workouts. Um, you know, that comes with portion control Tupperware containers teaches you exactly how much to eat. If it fits, you can eat it. And my favorite part is we have an accountability group and then we can check in with each other. You know, um, I, you can tag me in your sweaty selfies and you know, if you're having a bad day, you post in there and there's, you know, over a hundred other women in there just encouraging you, you on the bad days. So just getting the point and asking them. And when you're talking to them is like, join me, this is so fun. You got to do it. Even if they say no, they're like, oh, I, that sounds great, but I really just can't right now. Okay, cool, girl. Let me add you to our free group, and I'll just keep you in mind for the future. And, um, you know, just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. So it's basically just like that. Like, don't be afraid to invite them. If they say no, fine. But it's not like you're like, hey, how are you? I want you to buy 21 Day Fix. It's on sale for $140. Um, what do you say? What's your credit card number? It, that's not what you're doing. So just go for it. Talk to them. Build that. But don't be afraid to just ask them because that's living intentionally. I am intentionally going to invite her. And if she says no, good. Because I'm going for no and I'm going to get as many no's as I can because that means I'm inviting more people. Um, 
you know, and as long as you're doing it, like join me, nobody's going to be like, oh gosh, this girl is just out for money. You know, you're adding them to a free group. You can send them the four week meal plan. You can do all these things, you know, adding value. Um, but don't, don't talk to people for hours. I would just be like, okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm heading out the door um, or I'm getting my son to bed. So just let me know um, what you're thinking. And, um, you know, we are starting up by July, whatever. So, it, you know, you really do have to place your order by Thursday if you want to join us this round. I really, really hope you can. Um, and then if somebody says like, oh, I just really can't do it. I can't swing that. I say, okay, I totally get that. What I would suggest is, you know, you just do it without the shakes this month. They so are so amazing, and I definitely see my clients losing about five extra pounds um, a month using Shakeology, but I would say let's do the 21-day fix. You can, you know, still learn lifestyle changes, and then next month, you know, you can budget it in, and we can get you on that Shakeology that's really going to help curb your cravings and really help you, you know, really succeed with it. How does that sound? Does $59.95 fit your budget better? So I would rather somebody buy a base kit and change their life versus being like, I only sell challenge packs, sorry. Because yes, yeah, success club points are cool, but that's not what you're after at the end of the day. It's helping people. So if it's absolutely not okay, it's not, absolutely not in somebody's budget, talk to them about the other thing. I probably four or five times a week when somebody says, if somebody says like, no, absolutely not, I talk to them about the base kit. If they say, oh, you know, I, I, might, I might have to wait till payday, I say, okay, cool, when's payday for now? I'll put you in our uh, free group and then, just let me know when payday is and I can just check in on you then. Um, no big deal either way, but I just would love to join you. Like I would love to do this together. So kind of thing like that. So then I put their, them in my calendar for payday. Um, I'm, I will, sometimes I even, if somebody's slightly interested, um, like today I added somebody in our meal prep group and I said, you know, Madison's super excited. She's getting started tonight. Um, you know, make her feel welcome. And then I told her, I said, okay, so I added you to our group. You can see, you know, what people post. Um, you know, if you don't purchase tonight, like you, like you said, then I do have to unfortunately remove you, but I just want you to know that we've got awesome accountability. And I just wanted you to see like what you'd be getting. So if you can go in there and comment on the post that I tagged uh, Madison in, that would be great. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I do that a lot. If you want to give people like a sneak peek for like put them in there for a day or two and then like say like, you know, message a couple of our coaches and be like, dude, I have somebody in there. Can you please post your food and make it awesome for three days? That would be great. You know, like our, our, our group is pretty active, but just feel free to let people know like, hey, let's make this even more awesome so I can make a sale. Thanks. Okay, um, notifications that keep popping up on Facebook while I'm getting my power hour to-do list done and messaging people, aka three hours by the time I finish. Okay, so Carolyn, are you doing your power hour from your phone or your computer? Where are your pop-ups coming up? On the computer. Okay. Like when I'm doing the messages, I get like a notification from the team page and then I look at that and then I comment on that and then I go back to my messages and I'm like I literally sit at the computer all day <laughs> okay so what I do is I stay on the message screen I don't let myself leave the message screen and I um, mute my phone so you might see the pop-up but I, I mute my phone I I mute my computer so I'm not hearing ding 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 whatever and I stay on my messages until I'm finished um, Another thing that I do is, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're on your phone or on your, your computer, um, so if say somebody sends you a message and you want to check what they have to say, but you don't want, you want to make sure it's not urgent, um, maybe you don't have time to respond. Okay, so, um, okay, so you can see how the top two are blue and then the ones below it are white. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not, mm -hmm. but if I click and hold, I can, I can click and I can type mark is on red. So I can click, I can click and hold and then click mark is on red. And if I don't have, if it's not urgent, I know that I can, okay, I'm going to mark it as on red. So I remember to comment back to them later. That was like a game changer. Danielle told me about that. And I was like, oh my gosh, because a lot of times when I'm out, I'll like open them up, but I'm like, oh, I have to talk to her later. I don't have time to write that all out. So when you do that, and you can also do it from um, your computer, that for me, then when I go into it, let me show you. Um, it's not working on the iPhone. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying it. <laughs> can you see what happens when you swipe? 
Um, yeah, you can do it if you swipe. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, that was like a game changer. Danielle told me that like probably six months ago and I was like, stop it right now. Or it made it even, even been at, um, uh, summit last year. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen and get to, um, Facebook and, um, let's see. Okay. So I just go here. Okay. See y'all. Okay, so these are my messages, um, and then I click more, and I go to unread. So this is awesome because if I have, you know, something that's like, okay, I clicked unread, you know, um, Mark is unread, so I can come back later, you know, then I can be like, okay, I want to just answer all of these messages, and this is part of my power hour. Mess you know, anything that I've marked as unread, that means that, you know, okay, this girl signed on as a coach. She gave me her email. Um, I'm going to make sure that I send her, um, you know, that welcome email. Oh, I'm clicking on all these things. And then if you want to, um, mark it as unread, mark is unread. And then same thing here, mark is unread. Okay. So yeah. that is very helpful for me. Um, okay. Stop here. Um, that's really helpful for me for my power hour. I just know that I'm just going to go through all my unread messages. Um, okay, so I want you to write down um, in your planner or somewhere that you check every day for your beach body stuff your three distractions. And I want you to write what you're going to do to limit your distractions for the entire month of July and on. But, you know, start now, it'll be a habit by the end of July. So write out your three distractions. And then beside each one, what you're going to do, what your game plan is to avoid those. So for me, mine is I end up opening like 17,000 tabs on my computer because I get so distracted and I think I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. So I'm, I'm not going to do that. And then the other thing is I'm going to use airplane mode and a timer for to allowing myself to scroll through Facebook. I honestly probably spell, scroll throughout the day like an hour and a half. Like if I'm sitting around at, um, watching TV with Matt, like I don't really watch too much TV, but that's kind of like our, our time. And I, and then I find myself like scrolling through Facebook instead of really watching it. I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm not generating business. I'm not changing lives. I'm not doing anything. Oh, let me, um, turn off my Facebook. Otherwise it'll be dinging. Um, me one sec. Okay. So limit those distractions this week. And, um, that's kind of all I got. I just, I mean, honestly, just every day I want you to just freaking find somebody to help. I don't care what you're doing. I just want you to find somebody to help. So, okay. Do you guys have any questions before we talk about some summit stuff? Okay. Before, um, we do summit. I want each of you to tell me something that you are proud of yourself for this week. So I'm going to start with you, Danielle. Um, we went jogging last night or the night before mm -hmm. and I've always been kind of able to run, but like my legs give out cause I have no leg strength mm -hmm. and I was able to run two miles without my legs getting tired. And yeah. it's gotta be from the 21 day fix workouts cause I'm actually building leg muscle. So that is so cool. That was pretty cool. Cheers. <laughs> By the way, is anybody else drinking wine or is that just me? I would be if I wasn't on the fit. Yay! Yay! I love that you guys are hanging out in bed with wine. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Alicia, go ahead. Tell me what you're proud of. Um, I don't know. I can't hear you. That's Start again. Yay. Um, but my cousin said that her fiance wants to sign on as a coach and I've literally been talking to her for months about this. So I've been trying to get her to like, you know, pull the trigger today mm -hmm. and she sees my Facebook messages and she's like not responding to them. So I'm like, I don't know if she's at work. She's a nurse, so she could be at work, but um, hopefully I'm going to be having my second coach. I'm going to give her to like, I don't know, Sunday, but yeah. So yeah, hopefully dead. I'll be emerald by the end of the week. What's that? I said, and then she's dead to me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You're and like, then she's dead to me. Sunday. 
<laughs> Seriously. Okay, just make sure so, you're that is so cool. Make sure your preferred placement yeah. is set to the opposite side um, of Kelly. So mm -hmm. you can um, make sure that you are emerald. And yay! Yep. Cheers to that. <laughs> um, Shannon, so I'm drinking wine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Shannon, what is your um, success um, of the week? I think um, I've been really trying to reach out to at least 10 people a day, and I've been able to do that. Yeah. Um, every day, which is um, pretty good mm -hmm. um, for me because things get really kind of uh, just hectic, you know, with uh, the baby and everything like that. Yeah. So reaching out to all those people um, has been great. I haven't had, you know, a lot of yeses, but a lot of maybes, okay. um, but that's okay, you know, and uh, so I'm pretty proud of myself for, you know, making that goal and oh, it. yeah 10 people a day is huge like that's awesome so and it's kind of scary sometimes because I'm thinking oh my gosh what if they all respond because that's a lot of conversations going on <laughs> at the same time that's okay that's okay that's a good problem to have like yeah you know I used to do that I'd be like oh my gosh I have like 15 conversations I need to reply to and it's like you know how long it took me to be like I just hope these two people respond to me <laughs> so that's a good problem to have mm -hmm. um, Yay, good for you. And I loved your post, your story that you shared. That was awesome. That was so cool. And so many Thanks. people are like, oh my gosh, like that is the most powerful thing you can do. So good for you. Yeah, that it was because I watched that uh, Bo Eason thing last night. Yeah. You know, and that just kind of inspired me. And I mean, I have more stuff that I haven't shared yet, but you know, I'll get the courage eventually to go there. Right. You don't want to like throw your entire like, you know, closet out and show people they <laughs> right. like, Oh my gosh, this chick's life sucks. Like I can't even, I don't even know what to tell her. <laughs> like right. if I threw out like every part of my story at one time, people would be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. So I that's know. The best part. Save it, mm -hmm. and then each week share just a little perspective of your story. Um, but yeah, that was that was really awesome. So, so you yeah. have three kids, right? I have three. Yeah. Okay. That is so cool because I never knew that part of your story. I just I just thought they were all from your your current relationship. So that's really cool. No, uh -uh. and my son who is eighteen, his graduation party is this Saturday, so I'm planning that too. <laughs> Oh my and gosh, I didn't know your oldest son was 18. I thought, wait, did you have one that's 18, one that's 10? One that's 18, one that's 17, and one that is one. Why did I think you have a 10 year old? I okay. don't know. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no girl. Thanks. Okay. Danielle, are you there? Or are you just like cooking in the kitchen? Hey! <laughs> okay, tell me something that you're proud of yourself for this week. Sorry, I was cooking. Um, <laughs> Um, maintaining my one star for two weeks, which is exciting. um, and not beating myself up over not being able to work out because I've been miserable. <laughs> yeah. So that's huge for me. Yeah. It's, I'm sure like being like somebody that's super fit and loves exercise, it's, it's hard when you're like, all I want to do is work out, but I have no energy because yeah. There's an alien sucking it all away from you. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I'm so excited to see you. I know. Four days. I know. Uh, Danielle is going Friday to Monday. She's going to be, like, living in Nashville <laughs> for so long. Right? You th you're there till Monday, right? Yeah. It's so exciting. Monday morning. So if anybody has any recommendations of things to do, <laughs> send them to the last way. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, Carolyn, tell us what you're proud of yourself for this week. Um, well, I created a Coach Basics training group last week. So I'm really proud of all the people who are part of that this week. They're really um, participating. A lot of them are having, like, just – they're really loving it. So it's really cool that um, I was able to do that and I'm able to inspire them to like actually see how much potential they have. Mm -hmm. People have just um, like every other day, it's like, Oh, thank you so much. And it's just so cool. I, I think I'm just most proud of helping other people. It's just, yeah, it's finally starting to see like that leadership, like what not only helping people get healthy, but helping people like 
be leaders themselves. And that's really cool. And that is so huge too, because I feel like once you're like, okay, I just did this. Like it instantly makes you feel like I'm a leader. I, you know, I'm not just uh, a coach anymore. So, you know, when you're able to start doing training and things like that for your, your team and they see you as a leader and not just Kelly, I think that is amazing. So for anybody, I feel like honestly, once you get one or two coaches, make your own um, team group. Um, you don't have to, you know, be posting a ton of, you know, files and stuff because I have them in my group, but I honestly say make that right away and start making them feel like this is our team. You can go to April or Kelly for anything, but this is our team, you know, and once you establish yourself as a leader and you picture yourself as a leader, like it's, it's just a game changer. Like it was so funny because today I was driving home. And so this is my, um, I'm proud of myself for thing for the week. I was driving home today and I've been listening to so many national wake up calls. And I kind of like realized that without actually ever saying it out loud, I just know in my head that one day, like I will be hosting a national wake up call. Like it sounds so stupid to say like, but I just, I've probably for over a year, I'm just like, I know that one day I am going to have the chance to do that. I don't know if it'll be, you know, two years from now or, you know, a long time from now, but I just know that I'm going to. And like, I think that it's really cool to be able to actually see that vision because when you, that, that means that you're doing good with your personal development because that vision is everything. It's the same thing as like Michael Jordan, like he, everything, like every successful, um, athlete, they always practice visualization. They, they picture themselves in the game. They picture themselves and their component, their opponents. And that's exactly what I, when I knew that I was going to quit my job, I could picture myself in my spare room. I could picture where I would be sitting at my desk. And then I could picture myself like going to weddings with Matt without having him to request off and taking him home. And like, now I can picture myself like being debt free, like hosting a national wake up call. And for me, that is just so awesome because I was always that person that was like, that'd be awesome, but that would never be me. So it's really cool to see how much the personal development for me has paid off that I know, like, I don't need to be, you know, a top 10 coach, but I know that I'm well on my way, you know, for, for, you know, doing big things. And it's been a huge change in my confidence level, which I used to be like, no, you'll never be good at anything. So it's really cool to see that change. So that was, that was my cool thing of the week. Okay. So, um, any other questions, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to talk, um, about some summit stuff, unless you guys have any other questions. Let me check the chat. I think we're good there. No. Okay. So, um, for summit Thursday, Wednesday night, um, our team is doing dinner. That'll just be, um, casual, whatever, where, what do you guys do on Wednesday? Carolyn, do you know you doing anything? I'm not sure yet. Okay. No. Uh, so I would say like during the day, my plan is to either wear like jean shorts or um, leggings and like cute workout tanks. Like I'm not, I'm going to be comfortable because I, honestly, if you saw people last year, like it was all ranges. Some people were dressed up. Some people were wearing workout clothes during the get day. Um, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to do comfy. So, um, Thursday morning, we have um, Star Diamond um, rehearsal, and then we've got um, that Tracy Morrow training, which for that, I will again just do comfy probably. And then um, then we have a general assembly Thursday. So for that, um, because I'm doing the stage, I'll be wearing a dress and cowboy boots because I said no heels, so I'm just going to do that. Um, and then... Friday during the day is a workout and then seminars. Again, I'm just going to do like cute bummy and then um, always bring like a sweater kind of thing like that. And then um, Friday night is um, the success club party and um, two star diamonds. So Carolyn and Danielle, what are you guys wearing for the success club party? Um, I have like a white dress it's kind of like lace and it's very like i don't know casual yeah, go get it fancy. go get it huh said, go get it show it to us oh okay <laughs> <laughs> oh. danny you're doing a white dress and, and red heels right right 
And I bought blue earrings. Tonight. I don't know if you can see it. That's the bottom. Okay. The top. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. No, it's very simple, but I couldn't find anything red, so. You I have, like, red or blue accessories? Um, yeah, I was planning on maybe wearing, like, a denim vest with it, and then I have, like, brown, um, like, wedges, like, to kind of, I don't know if the vest was too, like, casual, though, for it. You can wear whatever. You will yeah, see people in here. Because it's blue, and my hair is red, so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, so you're doing um, red heels, white dress, right? Right. Okay. Cool. And then I, yeah, I have a, a long blue dress, um, and I, I'll look for a red necklace, but I'm not going to stress over it. Mm -hmm. And then um, what, what's going on Saturday night? Saturday, there's a cel the celebration. Okay. Like the party. The Remember it was like a dance, like a dance club sort of last year. Oh, fun. Yeah. What do you guys plan to wear for that? Um, <laughs> have a, I mean, I just bought a bunch of stuff. Is this appropriate <laughs> with like a long skirt? Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's, cute. That's cute. Um, yeah, I think that I, I bought a couple of dresses. I have like a black and white, um, dress that I might do. Um, what are you doing during the day? What are you guys doing during the day for wearing, like for seminars and stuff? I'm just wearing yoga pants or capris and a tank top and like a zip up or a, a, like a light sweatshirt. Gotcha. Just comfortable okay. stuff. And who's talking? I have to look. Do you know who's talking? Like last year was Darren Hardy. I forget. Um, There's two speakers this year, but I don't remember who they are. Cynic? Is it Simon Cynic? Is that it? Maybe. Maybe. Is that know, one of them's like a National Geographic photographer or something, I oh, think. That's interesting. And then I don't remember what the other one is. Um, Shannon, last year we had, oh, what's her name? She was like a Olympic, Olympic swimmer, and then she swam like freaking across. What did she, like, what did she swim across? What river? Ran a Nyad or something like that. Yeah. But she was amazing. Oh, my. Such a cool thing. She was incredible. Yeah. She really was. Yeah, she was now. Do we have time? Like, when you go from exercising, like to your seminar or whatever, is there time to change in between that? It just depends. You could register for like a six a.m. workout, a seven a.m. I re and you could also <coughs> register for things later in the day for seminars. So we got to choose if we wanted to do like seminars that started at nine or seminars that started at like three. So mm -hmm. I did the morning ones because I am just like. I'm a morning person later on in the day. I'll be like shut down. My brain will not be working. Mm -hmm. So, um, we went that route, but what time is our workout? Seven, seven fifteen, I think. But the only thing is, is that because Walk we're not staying in the hotel, huh? Yeah. Near the shuttle and stuff. Yeah. We're not staying in the hotel that the conference is at. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to have to just wear what you wear to your workout to your seminar, unless you have like a 6 a.m. workout and you have time to get back by like nine or whatever, but yeah. you're going to want to eat and stuff like that. So my recommendation would just be if you're comfortable, like wearing yoga pants, capris, whatever, like all day, and then just throw a sweatshirt or a sweater in your bag and then rock it until dinner. <laughs> if you smell okay. like a man like me, I will be bringing a change of clothes, but they will be bummy clothes. <laughs> so bad. Like I would be like, who – in here <laughs> yeah make sure you have like a backpack or something that you can... and stuff yeah I honestly like this is terrible I have to go buy clinical strength deodorant because I've like gotten used to my deodorant and I'm like I smell like a 500 pound man this is <laughs> so yeah pray for me and for everyone around me that I find something that makes me not smell like a stinky pig <laughs> um, I've tried like all the natural stuff it doesn't work I'm like oh, okay <laughs> James is really excited to room with you he said yeah James <laughs> I've my teeth all week and what, no. what, because you smell, you know, wear because you all smell like a 500 pound man <laughs> <laughs> what is Maddie gonna wear at all these events um we have to have bro talk tuxedo and <laughs> And all of his new diamond beach body gear. Oh my gosh, he was so mad at me. Dude, mine didn't come. What? Mine didn't come. Maybe they're doing you less because you're later in the alphabet. Yeah, but I'm leaving tomorrow. Aaron. All right. Um, 
You can wear mats. I mean, he's not going to be about it. <laughs> uh, also, we found out that, um, Carolyn, I don't know if you know this, but the, re the um, summit qualification was not June 24th. It was, um, you had to be qualified with the six weeks by June 24th. Like, so, yeah. yeah. Sucks. Sucks. Well, that's so really <laughs> I know that's so uh, sad. but um so I don't think I don't know and I was like looking in your online office there's literally no way to tell when you started qualifying so I can't tell if Matt because he fell out of one star qualifying for like two weeks because he didn't have enough active coaches so I don't think Matt even has it at all but I emailed uh, them I'm waiting to hear back but yeah, I, I didn't see that something about that, but I wasn't sure. So I just told myself that that wasn't true and just kept pushing for it anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I posted in the group today and they were like, no, you had to have been qualified by June 24th. And I was like, Oh, good thing. I like bought a refresh for yeah. someone. So I could do that. Rank. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> probably shouldn't say that on my recorded calls, but, um, Okay, so what else is going on? <laughs> Today is a live workout. Oh my gosh, set. the live workout was so much fun. It was, there's little, I mean, last year there was like, what, 10,000 people there last year or something crazy. Um, and they all were like outside in Vegas, like live workout. They had big like, like projector um, jumbotrons and every single um, different um, person, you know, it was Shanti, it was Tony Horton, it was... Um, even the combat people, it was, um, you know, Autumn, it was, uh, I don't even know, Shaleen, it was everybody. And they all did like 15 minute, seven or 20 minute sessions. And so it was an hour and a half long and like outside in Vegas heat, but it started at 630. So it was so cool. And there were so many people. It was so much fun. So I don't know if that one's going to be, is that inside? Is that at the field? I think, I don't know. No, I think it's at the arena. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I haven't looked at any of that stuff. So that'll be fun. That's six thirty a.m. on Saturday. And I think they said it was in downtown Nashville, like in the street, <laughs> like <laughs> outside. <laughs> That's probably like the only place they're gonna fit twenty thousand people. They're just gonna have to like close the road down. Like, I think did you see the that picture? Do. Did you guys see the picture that Carl had put on his Instagram today? No. Yeah, it's uh, it's um, the stage is up. It's inside the, I guess, that field. Uh-huh. Where it's going to be. It looks really cool. Uh, awesome. Shannon, are you going? Yeah. yeah. Yay! So excited. Oh, yeah. Danielle, yep. we'll smuggle you in. <laughs> huh? The other Danielle. Oh. <laughs> um, now, you know how, like, people walk across the stage and everything? Is that for, like, diamond and up, or how does the whole walking across the stage thing work? Star diamond. Star Diamond. Yeah. So let's see. I'm going to look at the agenda, see if there's anything else I missed. Um, what's the weather going to be like? Has anybody checked how freaking hot it's going to be? No. Mm. Where? Oh, agenda. I missed it. Okay. Full agenda. All right. So, and, and people are getting certified for size before. So they'll, some people are starting like Tuesday doing that. Um, yeah. Is anybody did anybody get registered to do size? Me. You are? That's so fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. That'll be awesome. Okay, so our celebration we've got a celebration Saturday at LP Field at seven thirty and then at ten thirty celebration block party. What's this? That's probably like the app that's the after party. That's the like dancing and stuff. Okay. Yeah. And then celebration reserve seating. What? Um, hmm. Headsets will be distributed to your right. So why do we need headsets? No, I think that's for like hearing impaired, you dork. <laughs> or is it for people that speak Spanish or something? <laughs> Spanish slash French who have pre-registered for headsets. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Okay, there's no information. That's the only description there is. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh, my gosh. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> so, 
um, yeah. So, and then Wednesday, when will you be there Wednesday, Shannon, for dinner? Yes. Okay. Wednesday, just I, I'm not gonna do two dressing. I think I'm gonna do um, like shorts, and I have this like crop top that I'm gonna probably wear because I never have any other way or to wear it because I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna wear this uh, to the grocery store. <laughs> so, <laughs> but um, yeah. So. I brought a lot, of, like, I got a lot of, like, just casual, fun dresses that I can just dress up because it's going to be so hot. I know. You know, I think oh, it's that is funny. I know. I have this long dress that I'm wearing for this. Um, let me go get it. Hold on. So this is, like, it's just like a plain long dress like blue and white it's pretty but i'm so worried i'm gonna have like butt crack sweat in it because it's gonna be so <laughs> i know out there. i know <laughs> so tight to my butt that's like the only reason i bought it i was like it, my butt looks good in it and just let you know if i've got butt crack sweat again <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, i have a bunch of like, maxi skirts but i don't know if it's worth it to even bring like more than one of them because if it's too hot, you know, I know, that's like just traps the heat underneath. So, I feel like, I'll need to put like Vaseline on my legs, like for them to like <laughs> not be sweating together. <laughs> oh my god, I put Vaseline on my legs every day before I go running because apparently the way my body is made, that my legs are just always rubbing together. I'm like, my legs are like littler now than they before, <laughs> and I don't get it, but yeah, I call it <laughs> like, powder. <laughs> Baby powder isn't going to work if you're running, like, seven miles. It's not going to still be there. That's what I use. Well, I don't run anymore, but that's what I would use. I feel like I would go to, like, amusement cool. parks and walk all day. Yeah. Oh, maybe for walking. But for, like, constant, like, repetitively like, running, I feel like that would just be gone. So yeah. it's so funny because I go through, like, a tube of Vaseline, like, every two months. And Matt is like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 so um and then also I don't know if you got your um stuff in the mail I know Danny did I got this super fun hat that I'll probably wear one day um I have um something cute and special for my diamonds that are coming and oh crap I need to do I need to find out I ordered four boxes of shaker cups for all our coaches two and a half weeks ago and it's still not here. Um, so yeah, that's probably a problem. <laughs> uh, I need to update you guys and let you know, Danny, you might need to bring a shaker cup anyways, cause I'm not sure it'll be here. <laughs> I told you I'd bring one for you, but, um, yeah, so I need to check on that. But do you guys have anything else or any other questions about summit or anything? I'm so excited. Um, Shannon, what time do you get in Wednesday? Um, now Jesse White is driving, so I think we're leaving at like nine, she said, and it's okay. about eight hours, so. Okay, gotcha. So, um, yeah, so dinner is at eight, um, Wednesday, and, um, have you met Jesse yet? We just talk and back and forth, you know, like You'll messaging and stuff, her. yeah, she sounds like really cool. She's country girl ever, too, so she's like going to be right in her element. Like all and Brittany is driving with us too. And there's like actually I think like five of us in the car together. Yay. And then Nikki and Debbie are like carpooling behind you. So Yeah. That's so fun. I'm so excited to see all of you guys. So make sure you bring your um run pink stuff or your fight for fit stuff. Um we'll make sure we take pictures. Um and Wednesday, I don't know what time you guys will get there, but I'm my goal is to be by the pool, but Danny um, somebody said that our pool is only indoors. Like, why would somebody in Tennessee make an indoor pool? Yeah, Angela said she called, and it was indoor. So, well, there's a, in my National Tour Guide book, <laughs> there's, a, um, there's, like, a lake nearby. We could always go to that. Like, it's, like, National Shores or something. That's true. If there was, like, a beach or something, like a. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, 
Dan, I'm going to um, make a list and then I'll just post a picture of it if that'll help you guys. But yeah, just make sure you reach out to your roommates and see what you can correlate so you don't need like 17 straighteners in your room and stuff like that. Um, Shannon and Carol, uh, Carolyn, what hotels are you staying at? The, um, I think the same as you guys, the, the one in Vanderbilt. Nashville? The, or yeah. I'm sorry, the uh, Hilton? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. So, cool. Um, all right, well, I think that's all I have. Uh, if you have any questions, just, you know, post it in our summit group, but I'm super excited. Um, bring your cowboy boots if you have them, and honestly, don't stress over what you wear because – it's going to be hot, you're going to be sweaty, and nobody, like, honestly, you might see people, like, coming to, like, the two-star diamond party, like, in their yoga pants. Like, it, and there might be people, like, with their $2,000 dress. So, like, there will be somebody that matches what you're wearing at any level, so don't worry about it. Yeah, like, I saw a picture of um, Anita Meyer, and she was, like, showing pictures of herself shopping for dresses and they were like super duper fancy dresses but that might be like an elite event or something she's going she, to. yeah she's probably she's one of the top 10 so she's probably doing something for like her being on stage they do definitely do a lot more attention to the top 10 i think they do a top 10 panel oh. and um she will also be doing a talk on stage so she'll be she'll be a lot dressier don't worry about that but yeah, make sure you get, um, get a brand new notebook um, or if you have one just for personal development. But honestly, I, I got a new notebook and I'm just going to keep it just for Summit. And then what I'm going to do is keep it and then they will record the Summit talks and then you can go back through, listen to it again, take notes again because there's going to be so much stuff that you miss and there's your, you may want to listen to. I don't know if they'll record every single one because there's the same list of topics, but like different tracks had different people talking. So you may be able to listen to Scotty Hobbs say one thing and Amy Silverman say the same thing, but still get different information. So um, I would definitely get a brand new notebook, lots of pens, whatever. Um, you know, if you're, I'm going to bring my computer. I know that I'm not going to be working my business very consistently. I'll probably, you know, give myself like 30 minutes at night, answer messages and, and be done with it. But, um, my biggest thing that I saw so many people doing last year is like always on their phone and messages. when you are looking and there's somebody in front of you making six and seven figures telling you how to move your business, you need to take notes. That message can wait. That person is not going to say, oh, screw you. I'm going to another beach body coach. So those messages can wait. Yes, your paycheck may take a little hit this week, but you are going to see your paycheck soar from the information you're going to take in. So soak it all in. Um, you know, make sure that you're not super hungover if you're planning on drinking at all. Like that's just don't do anything that's going to affect the you know possibility of literally like moving your business forward. Like I I'm not joking. I think my paycheck went up about $250 the month after summit, like weekly. It was amazing the change that it had. So, um, and team cup is in August. So we have to get signed up for that by the end of July sometime. So what is that? team cup you get with four other people. Um, you can only have one, um, lifetime diamond on your team. So, um, you know, you and only one diamond. So I couldn't be like, oh, I'm going to tie up with all my diamonds and crush this. Um, you know, so you get, you get together and then your success club points as a team amount to what type of prizes. And there's different tiers. And like usually like the top is like an awesome sweatshirt or hoodie or something. So you get all of them that you qualify for. And basically it's based on success club points. And so if you haven't listened to the national wake up call from this week, mm -hmm. um, I can't remember her name. Her name's escaping me, but she's won. She's a Canadian coach. She's won. She's been the captain of three times a winning team cup team. So like winning, winning, you go to California headquarters and meet like Carl, you get to tour everything. It's huge. And three times she's been a leader of it. So she has some awesome, awesome insight. Definitely listen to that make your own team group. I'm going to make my own Facebook group with my team. We're going to post daily. We're going to, I'm going to make a separate list of like a hundred people that I want to talk to just for August people that I'm following up with things like that. Um, 
And then, you know, then you're going to reach out to people. You're going to say, Hey guys, what are you doing this week? Who's the three to five people you're messaging, you know, things like that. And, um, you're just going to keep your, each other accountable, like no excuse. You're going to make it happen. You're going to, you know, push your limits to see what you can do. So that's what I really love. Cause it's definitely really motivating. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Did, anything else? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right, cool. So, um, what time is it? All right, so I have um, a couple of coaches, new coaches jumping on for 8 o'clock. So if you guys um, want to um, hang out for that, feel free to. Um, I'm going to um, go grab something to eat for the three minutes that I have. But if you're not a new coach, Danielle, feel free to go have dinner. <laughs> um, so bye. But, yeah, so um, let's see. Well, let me read this chat. Okay. See ya. All right. Bye, Shannon. I'm going to swap.